Good afternoon, and allow me to welcome you to today's webinar. I'm Bernie Joy, and I'll be hosting this informational session. My colleague Lisa Mahalko will be riding shotgun. She's going to be uh, making sure the presentation moves along, and if I get too long-winded, she will simply advance to the next slide. If you can hear me, please go to the little hand that's under attendees on your side screen and press the hand. You are, in essence, raising your hand, letting me know that you can hear me. Mm -hmm. Very good. We have some who can. I don't see the hand, Bernie. This is Deb Cecil. All right. Uh, looks like everyone who everyone can hear. I'm here with our supplier representatives today to announce our new computer peripheral and general audiovisual box sales contract. This webinar is somewhat different from most that you have attended. We're going to present the contract description and supplier profiles in a compact 15-minute format. The rest of the time we're going to spend answering any questions that you may have. The agenda for today's webinar is we're going to be talking about the purpose of the webinar. We're going to review the benefits of the contract. We're going to list specific details. We're going to list the benefits, find the web, find this contract on the website, review the frequently asked questions we've received, and describe how to get further information. The purpose of today's webinar is to introduce the new statewide contract for computer peripherals and general audio visual products. We have uh, the general information that you need, contract number. It's a new contract, and my contact information is on the contract details page. The key benefits that you can keep in mind are ease of ordering through e-catalogs, extended return periods for large orders up to 90 days, Discounts that range between 5 to 80 percent. Additional discounts are available on high volume orders. We have the availability of Windows Shopper for those of you who have IT people who like to uh, browse a bit. And e an easy process for adding new products and product lines. Now, in order to find this statewide contract on our website, Visit the DOAS website at www.doas.ga.gov. Hover over the state and local section. Click on State Purchasing. And then hit the Direct Link section and click on Statewide Contracts. You'll then want to look for the contract title of computer peripherals, and general audiovisual products. Now, how to use the contract. First, in general, the, this, this contract is, is for computer peripherals, virtually anything that connects to a computer, most spare parts, and general audiovisual products. These are the sorts of things that any, uh, anyone can order and make use of. It doesn't really require extensive technical training. If you're on the Team Georgia Marketplace, you will be able to use our catalogs and re for routine orders, and we're going to have a form available so that you can request quotes for those large orders. If you're not in the cat, if you see Excuse me. If you don't find what you're looking for, contact me. I'll make sure it gets added to the contract. 
if you're not on the Team Georgia Marketplace, go to the DOAS Statewide Contract Index for procedures. You can also sign up for Team Georgia Marketplace Window Shopper. This is available. Uh, the Window Shopper function is available right now. Uh, in general, the contract portion will be coming up soon. Let's go through some frequently asked questions. I'm buying equipment for a new building. Can I get a better deal with large quantities? The answer is yes. The contract pricing is a ceiling price overall. It's in our supplier's best interest to quote you the lowest price they can in the contract. But if you've got a large quantity order, they can go back to the manufacturer and get a better cost that they can pass through to you. If we have to replace a modem or power supply, do we have to go through this contract utilizing the state, statewide contract even if it's a Dell part? If you're replacing a Dell part under warranty, you absolutely want to go through Dell. If you're replacing a Dell branded component, you will still want to go through Dell. If you're replacing a component that comes from a third party manufacturer like a video card, you'll need to go through the peripheral contract. I'm looking for a specific model and brand of projector. I don't see it in the award. How can I get it added? Just contact the contracting officer, that's me, for items inside the scope of the procurement, that is their computer peripheral, or a general audiovisual product. Uh, we can expedite the addition of that product or product line on either a temporary or permanent basis. I'm not clear on the NIGP code list for this statewide contract. It looks like they're catch-alls regardless of manufacturer. Really, the NIGP code is a catch-all list because if I miss an NIGP code that one of our users seeks to enter for the statewide contract, the purchase order could blow up. So I've had to really try and enter every possibility. Please be aware that colleges and universities don't have the PeopleSoft version required for Team Georgia Marketplace. With our scenario and no access to catalogs, how do we find pricing? Will we eventually have links to the vendor websites? There are at least two solutions available to you. First, you're going to have the availability of Window Shopper once the e-catalogs go active. For more information, you can simply register, go ahead and go to the link provided and register. It will allow you to create shopping baskets, fill them, and export them, all without having to be hooked into SAO PeopleSoft. Secondarily, you're going to have the option of seeking a quote directly from the supplier. For questions about this contract, feel free to contact me. I'm the contracting officer, Bernie Joy. Here's my phone number and email address. And now I'd like to introduce to you the first of our suppliers. While the lovely uh, Debbie Cecil is, is uh, pictured here, her uh, much more humble colleague, Fran Leach, <laughs> is going to be speaking to us. Thank you, Bernie. Can you, uh, can you hear me? We can hear you. Wonderful. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for joining us on the uh, Computer Peripherals and General AV Products webinar. Uh, One Path Systems uh, was invited to participate in the uh, contract that we are presenting to you today. Again, my name is Fran Leach, and I am one of the managing principals of One Path Systems. Joining me uh, on the call with her lovely picture is Debbie Cecil, our purchasing manager. And together, uh, we hope to take care of uh, many of your audiovisual equipment needs. Just a little bit of uh, background regarding One Path Systems. We are an Atlanta-based company. We are uh, one of the larger low-voltage integrators and audiovisual equipment suppliers in the region. Uh, we are also a partner with the state of Georgia under the Georgia Technology Authority and uh, hold a long-term contract with the state. Uh, so some of you may know us from, uh, from your experience on the other side. 
We offer a uh, long list of products, but particularly for this contract, we are offering you Sanyo products, Shure microphones, Draper video screens, chief projector and flat panel mounts and accessories, as well as rack and rack components from both Raxis and Middle Atlantic. Uh, finally, we offer in-focus projectors for those of you who use that projector brand. Uh, we are a professionally certified organization with Infocom. Uh, we provide 20, <clears throat> excuse me, we provide uh, seven to eight hour a day service. Uh, the information that uh, Bernie is providing should be on the screen. Uh, but we can be contacted at one eight seven seven one sis one. That is uh, for those of you who are mathematically challenged, like myself. That number would actually be eight seven seven six six three seven nine seven one. We offer a, a two-day turnaround on orders. We have a very easy to use return policy. Uh, we will work with you on any kind of defective equipment or returns and we also provide uh, normal business day IT AV tech support over the phone free of charge. So we look forward to working with each of you in the state. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us at the information on the screen, and either Debbie or myself will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you. Thank you, Fran. Keith, take. Keith? Yes. I'd like, allow me to introduce Keith Taylor of Multimedia Services. Great. Thank you, Bernie. Um, hello, everyone. This is Keith Taylor, Executive Vice President with Multimedia Services. We're excited to be part of this Tier 1 AV contract. We believe it is a well-designed contract and will benefit the state of Georgia in many ways. Our office is at 120 Interstate North Parkway, Suite 314, Atlanta, Georgia, 30339. Our telephone number is 770-955-7368, and our fax number is 770-955-9246. Uh, to learn more about our sales and our sales ability, you can email us at sales at mmsav.com. And to just check us out and learn more about us, um, that website is mmsav.com. However, for ordering information, please contact Amy Truitt at 770-422-3748, or you can email her at amyt at mmsav.com. I'd like to now tell you a little bit about our, our company here. Um, we've been a Georgia-based business since 1976, providing personal service and audiovisual products to Georgia government agencies, universities, and school systems for over 34 years. And we have experienced sales and service personnel across Georgia. Additionally, we are a platinum level certified AV industry company holding national audiovisual industry certifications and awards like Atlanta's Consumer Choice Award four years in a row. Uh, a little bit about our return and, and shipping policies. Um, products may be returned within 30 days, uh, 60 days, if the order is in excess of $15,000, and those are subject to further terms and conditions described on our vendor information sheet. And then in-stock orders are shipped within 48 hours or two days. Back-ordered and out-of-stock items are shipped subject to manufacturer's availability. We look forward to working with all of you, helping you, and being your partner for the years to come. And I'd like to now uh, turn it back over to Bernie. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Keith. Mm -hmm. And next, I'd like to introduce Elena Ryan of AVI, Audio Visual Innovation. Elena? Elena? Ernie? Yes. Can you hear me now? 
can hear you now. Okay. Um, thank you for inviting us to this webinar. Um, Audiovisual Innovations has been in business since 1979 and quickly became number one as the largest privately held full service audiovisual products and service provider in the country. We service all vertical markets, including education, government, corporate, house of worship, and health care. AVI was ranked number one in the top 50 systems integrators in 2009 systems contractor news. Um, any items that we have in stock will ship within 24 hours. Items shipped from the manufacturer to the end user will normally be sent in three to five days. Quote requests will be answered within 24 hours or less. If by chance there's a return, you would contact me first, and then I'll submit an RMA request to our customer service department who will contact you with an RMA number so that you would use that number to send the item back. There's a 30-day return policy for regular orders, and 60 days will be allowed for large orders. Um, we're very excited to be part of this contract, and I'm looking forward to doing more business with the state of Georgia. Thank you, Elena. You're welcome. And now, I'm going to be uh, Wendy Wang for just a moment. Those of you across the state, some of you have worked with Wendy in the past. Yesterday she was in a fairly serious automobile accident, but uh, she was diligent enough to send me the text of what she had planned to say. Uh, so forgive me. My name is Wendy Wang and I'm with Troxel Communications. Your needs are my responsibility. First, I would like to thank you for the opportunity to serve our great state of Georgia. I've lived and worked here for over 20 years. My contact information and my sales support contact information are on the screen. So I would not read it word by word. Instead, I will tell you a little more about who we are and what we do. Troxel Communications was founded in 1946. Now, 64 years later, we are the largest privately held audiovisual equipment distributor in the United States. We're very proud of that, and I want you to know why you should buy from us, too, because education and government end users make up the majority of our customer base. That's what we do best. We provide a huge selection of audiovisual products from the most recognizable names in the industry. Because of our experience, we know how to support the state of Georgia and will make doing business with us a positive experience for you. For those of you I have not met yet, you can always reach me by email or phone. I look forward to working with you even more in 2010 and beyond. And now, allow me to introduce Renetta. Williams. Good afternoon. Warehouse. Thank you, Bernie. Good afternoon. I'm Renetta Williams, and I'm the Director of Sales for Southern Computer Warehouse. As a Georgia company, we're very pleased to have been awarded this new State of Georgia contract. SCW is a 16-year-old Atlanta-based provider of over 700,000 IT products and services to primarily government education organizations across the United States. We got our start with a State of Georgia IT contract 15 years ago, met great folks, and were honored to be awarded the Georgia Governor's Small Business of the Year Award our first year. It's wonderful to have customers we met all those many years ago who've remained loyal and are now able to work with us on this broad computer peripherals and AV contract. Why have our customers remained so loyal for all these years? We take great care of them. First, we offer free ground shipping. That keeps things simple. Second, orders are processed the same or next day, depending on how late in the day they arrive. Third, we pull from 27 warehouses with three in Atlanta and several others in the surrounding southeastern states, so your orders arrive quickly. Next, we don't use voicemail. It's there for after hours if you want to leave a message, but when you call during business hours, you'll get a friendly person to greet you and get you over to the Georgia team. 
email works great, but we figure if you call, you want to talk with a person. The last thing you want to do is leave a voicemail and not know if someone will get back with you in an hour, a day, or a week. Also, we have a committed four-hour response time to quote requests. If you send us, a coffee, if, send us a quote over coffee in the morning, we'll have it back to you by lunch. We are quick. Finally, SCW has hassle-free returns. Keep your boxes, and we'll have you covered for 30 days. You can contact us by phone or email to request an RMA, and we'll get the process moving. If it's defective or the wrong thing was shipped, we'll cover the shipping cost. If you just changed your mind, the shipping cost is yours. On larger purchases, over $15,000 in one order, the return policy is extended to 60 days. On those larger orders, the clock starts ticking on the return policy once all ordered components have reached the ship to address. The main thing to know is that SCW is here to help you navigate, navigate the contract, facilitate purchases at a great price, and keep your tax dollars at home. We're happy to be your Atlanta-based and Georgia-proud IT and AV state contract provider. Thanks, and we really look forward to working with you. Thank you, Renetta. To save time with questions, I want to talk with you for just a moment about the three solicitations that involve audiovisual equipment and services. Today we're discussing the first one, computer peripherals and general audiovisual products. That solicitation is completed. What you want to do is think general product. The next solicitation is going to be for proprietary audiovisual products and limited services. For those of you who are AV professionals, you might think in terms of, of Crestron, programmable devices that require extensive certifications to be able to utilize or even offer for sale. These are not the sort of products that you can get from a big box wholesale internet reseller. This solicitation is going to be going out very soon. The third and final solicitation will cover audiovisual projects and services. This would be your turnkey projects and would include services such as engineering, design, integration, installation, routine maintenance, and repair services. Today, we have the first of the three awarded. The next question that I want to talk a little bit more in detail about is how do you add a new product line to the contract? Obviously there's no way we could have gotten every computer peripheral and general audiovisual product on the contract without exception. So we have a simple process to add what you need that's missing. If you have a need that's not addressed, but is in the general categories of computer peripheral or general AV product, all you have to do is follow these, first, these three steps. First, determine the timing. You need to know if this is an immediate need. That is, do you have an order you need to place right now, or is it is it a manufacturer or product group that you've standardized on and you know you will be placing orders in the future? That lets us know how fast we need to satisfy your, your requirement and whether or not it's a temporary addition or a permanent one. Next, send me an email and let me know what you need. If it's something that you need immediately, send me model numbers, quantities, and I'll get you the quotes and add the product to the contract on an ad hoc basis. Usually I can turn this around for you in 24 to 48 hours. I'll be able to send you what you need so that you can issue a purchase order. If the need is really longer term, I'll address it in a way that gets the product and manufacturer added in a permanent manner. The bottom line to all of this is, if it's in scope as a computer peripheral, or a general audiovisual box product, I will help you get you what you need quickly and at a great price. 
What I'd like to do now is begin to open uh, the discussion up for questions. Uh, if you could send your questions to me as, as chat and let me know that you, you have a question. Oops, got a whole question section here. All right, I'll read the questions. This is Lisa Mahoko, and I'll have Bernie answer them. For the items like in-focus uh, projects that are listed with three different suppliers. Oh, dear. <laughs> We're getting there. There we go. Should we send a list to all three to see who gives us the best price? That is a great idea, because when the cat e catalogs are fully enabled, you'll be able to go online for, if it's a small quantity order, and compare pricing directly. When you've got a large quantity order, certainly request a quote directly from each supplier that's been awarded that manufacturer. Again, if you have any, any other questions, please. Uh, we got another one. On items that are also listed on other contracts, like Lenovo monitors or Apple displays, are we supposed to use this contract, or can we use either contract? Same with Duracell batteries that are on contracts with Granger and Staples. Great question. Uh, if you're buying a peripheral along with the computer that's branded by the computer maker, go ahead and order it under the ITPC hardware contract. If you're going back and you're ordering extras, I want to encourage you to be smart and look and see who gives you the best deal. And I've got one other. Um, when will the contracts be made available? The, uh, the contracts are available right now. They are active in the e-procurement. E I mean, they are active in SAO PeopleSoft. They are available for your use today. You can go ahead and start requesting quotes and uh, placing orders. They are not, the e-catalogs, however, are not enabled yet. I've got a question. Will printers be added? A printer contract is so close to being awarded that I can almost smell it in that uh, our uh, Bonnie Harrison, uh, my colleague, is working through the PeopleSoft process right now to award that contract. I expect it to be uh, posted on our site in the next day or two. Another question, are smart symposiums to be included in proprietary contracts? We're, yes, we're going to be enabling you to be able to buy the smart symposiums, smart products, uh, general video conferencing in the proprietary hardware contract. Do we have to use these companies? If you're buying something that is currently on a statewide contract, yes, you do. Uh, you can request a waiver, and we'll look at the merits. And but giving a waiver uh, is a substantially a higher authorization than I can I can simply give in a blanket fashion. Another question. We are an all Extron campus. Do your vendors that we've heard today carry Extron control systems? They do. And uh, we can we can get your uh, Extron added on an ad hoc temporary basis pending the uh, proprietary RFP. Um, next question, when will all contract items be included in Team Georgia Marketplace? 
The enablement process for the Team Georgia Marketplace is a combination of the technical requirements of the state of Georgia, the technical abilities of our suppliers, and the implementation schedule of SciQuest. That's a long answer to say it will be certainly within a month. But more precise than that, I can't be. Next question. Does this cover printer cartridges for HP, Dell, and other office printers? It does not. The printer contract, I believe, will cover most of those uh, most of those supplies. Those that are not covered by the printer contract will be covered on the staples contract. Overlapping other statewide contracts storage items are available on another statewide contract, so which one would take precedence? There are storage devices are one of those very hazy areas where contracts bleed into one another. What I've tried to do on this contract is network storage that's really of a very simple nature the sort of things that you'd use on a home network may be a little more complicated than that, can be bought off this peripheral contract. But if you're talking heavy-duty network storage, that needs to be purchased off the uh, server contract. Um, again, another question. Will this contract include printers? And, and are printers included in this contract? Pr printers are specifically excluded on this contract. Okay. When will it? Okay. okay. During next question, during this phase, if we have an entire turnkey product include project, excuse me, including installation, can we bid as a total job, or do we need to request a waiver in order to do so? You would want to bid this as an entire job. The reason is you can't. Uh, you you need to have an integrator who is an authorized reseller of everything they quote. And so if you do need a waiver for whatever reason to be able to bid a total job, we'll do what we can to grant it quickly and efficiently. Um. I, next question. I have a current AV project for projectors, podium mounts, Extron, etc., and installation for nine classrooms. Some items are on the contract, some are not. So how should I proceed for a turnkey installation? Again, same answer. You want to bid that as a full job because you've got to have an integrator who is an authorized reseller on everything. And again, what was your recent remark about ordering projectors? I received a quote from Dell and SCW. Is it okay for me to purchase projectors from these suppliers? If you're, project if you're purchasing a Dell projector that is not available from any supplier on this statewide contract, uh, I think it's appropriate to order it from Dell. However, Dell did submit a response to this RFP, and they were not awarded. So if you're buying a non-Dell product, I would expect you to buy it off of this contract. Um, next question is, when will the, this contract be available in Windows Shopper for those who do not have SAO PeopleSoft? I, it, it will be available in Windows Shopper as soon as it's enabled. Uh, everybody will get it at the same time. All you have to do is be registered for Windows Shopper. And that's a popular question. <laughs> um, with the statewide contract, I've already found that my current vendor is cheaper. So what do I do? Contact me directly. And uh, I will take appropriate action. And more printers. Another question on printing. I research statewide contracts and find that a vendor that is not on contract is less expensive. Can I order from the non-contract vendor? It is a mandatory contract. If uh, you're able to find a better price 
I need to correct that situation. So contact me directly. Can state employees buy off this contract? Uh, if you, there are some men, some uh, suppliers who have links on their websites that indicate the availability for state employees to be able to use those contracts. DOAS is prevented from negotiating an employee discount. However, we are not prevented from allowing a supplier who of their own volition seeks to offer one. And that's a non-answer, but it's the only one that we can give. Sorry. Does this um, contract cover RAM, memory sticks, for computer upgrades? This does, in, this does cover RAM, and I'm going to give a caveat here. If you're buying RAM for a proprietary server, and it, historically some server manufacturers have uh, gone to great lengths to ensure that memory for their server is absolutely proprietary, you will want to go through the server contract in order to order that RAM. If it's a g more generic form of RAMs, that RAM that follows standards, it doesn't have a little EEPROM on it uh, that says I'm Hewlett Packard or I'm IBM, then you'll want to go on this contract to order it. There's a monitor contract listed in the GPR as under evaluation. Will that be issued? And if so, when will we be we be allowed to shop among all contracts for the best price? That is a great question based on the fact that someone from DOAS needs to go in and kill that. The monitor contract that is the state the RFP for a statewide contract for monitors uh, was abandoned uh, about a year ago. And if it's still showing out there as under evaluation, we need to take care of that. And I appreciate the fact that you pointed it out. Um, are you saying that we need to, if we need to bid a turnkey project, then we need not uh, to request a waiver? Let me read that again. Are you saying that if we need to bid a turnkey project, then we do not need to request a waiver from the state? I'm going to have to, uh, I don't think you need a waiver to do that, but I can't speak with absolute authority. So I'm going to uh, add that to my frequently asked questions and I'll post an answer to that on the uh, contract description webpage. That was turned out to be a very popular question. Let's see. How will preventing competition for peripherals save the state money? Uh, it's already been competed. And if you have uh, if you have an issue with pricing, contact me directly and I will address it and we'll work through it. Where do users go to register for Window Shopper? If you, uh, you will look a little bit further back in my presentation, you're going to, there's a hyperlink that takes you directly to the Window Shopper uh, information page, and you can register. There is, it's a two-step process. You fill out a simple form. One of our technical support people will then go back and validate that the uh, person seeking to register is actually a member of a government and uh, then can uh, you will receive an email with your username and password. All right, next question. For each peripherals on the contract, you will get a lot of contacts for price difference. Can your department handle all the requests? I've already found that a lot, a lot of differences. The, uh, the bottom line on that is 
I don't expect to have to address these issues more than once with our suppliers. They're very responsive. And once they're aware of the competitive pressures, they will compete. Um, let's see. Can I find the projectors on Team Georgia Marketplace since I cannot order them from Dell? I'm assuming that you're not buying a Dell uh, projector. These catalogs are not yet implemented, so if you will look at the contract description page and send uh, emails to the suppliers who are awarded that manufacturer, they'll send you back quotes and you will be able to issue a purchase order. Next question, what about external backup drives and UPS battery backup, um, UPS, will this be covered under this contract? They are covered under this contract. And uh, several manufacturers, if you happen to find a manufacturer of one of these devices that is not listed, that comes under the category of we need to get it added, so you send me an email. Next question. How will the products that are added as, excuse me, as, one more time. How will the products that are added as ad hoc or permanent be made available to all state entities? We're going to, the, uh, for those items that are added on a permanent basis, they will be added to the award document that's in the overall statement on our website. The items will be added to the catalog once per quarter, but I will have the document on our website updated each time we add new product lines. Next question. Are projector lamps covered under this contract? The ones in our older projectors are becoming somewhat hard to find. Uh, for most manufacturers, they're already covered. If you've got a hard-to-find product that you need uh, that is not covered in the award document, let me know. And if it is, if the manufacturing product line is covered, send to our uh, suppliers, and they'll get you a quote out. I think there's one more, maybe. And then the next, I think this is the last question, if there's no more. Uh, what about enterprise UPS systems, 80, KVA, et cetera? I'm going to uh, go ahead and admit that I personally do not know what 80 KVA means, but I am going to say that UPSs, even enterprise level UPSs, are covered. Uh, our suppliers can get what you need if the manufacturer is not listed on our on our award sheet, all you have to do is let me know. If it's already there, just request a quote. These enterprise UPS systems uh, are often custom designed by the manufacturer and uh, be a sub be the subject of a custom quote anyway. You need to call one of, call our contract vendor and they can get you an extremely aggressive quote from the manufacturer. I've got a couple more coming in. Can we request the listing of the schedule of awards in an Excel document so that we can sort and reprint by vendor or product line? You know, I hadn't even thought about making that available. But yes, send me an email directly. The, uh, the spreadsheet that that's generated from, or the workbook that that's generated from is about 10 megabytes. And so what I need to do is uh, pull it out so that you can have it. Um, I've got another question. Will each company have a representative that can visit each college? You know? I think that's one that you call them up and invite them.
Any others? And we've got another one about the ink cartridges. Are they included in this contract? Yes. No, no. No. And then the last one I've got so far is, will you please give me the site to locate the suppliers that are selling these projectors? Uh, by going to the statewide contract information page that's described earlier in this presentation, you click on the title of the solicitation, which is Computer Peripherals and General Audiovisual Products. There is a schedule of awarded line items in that PDF. That's where you can locate the uh, who was awarded what product line, and then the contact information for each of these suppliers is in that information section. Are there any others? But one last one, it looks like. Will other vendors be added to this contract, or is this the final list? This is the final list for this solicitation. However, we've got two more coming up, and I'm sure other other uh, other potential suppliers are going to be bidding, and hopefully everyone will be successful. And that looks like all the questions. Are there any more out there? The, uh, there's a question here. Where can we find a copy of this webinar online? Do you know? It's going to be on the statewide council windows eventually, but it's on the DOAS website. It's on the DOAS website, and we'll 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 put up a a note about how to find it. Are there any other questions today? I want to thank each one of you for hanging in here today, all the way to the end of this webinar. Thank you very much. I want you to know that I am available to you for questions, for requests. Uh, certainly, I'm here to try and make sure you get what you need, when you need it, for the best possible price. Thank you, and have a good day.